just fucking continue here. I'm never gonna be able to live this down. I can't believe I just... Oh my... Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. No, I don't care what you have to say. I'm already embarrassed as it is. It's like the first dungeon and everything. I swear I'm not this stupid. Uh, I s Trust me, I know it may sound... It may sound like it, but I swear I'm not a bad person. Not not bad person, but more just fuck. I'm not stupid. Please, please, please. Well, look at the size of that barrel. Hey, remember that time when you didn't push the button? The button that was like right in front of you? Yeah, yeah. I legitimately didn't see those. Oh my god, why didn't I? It didn't click to my mind that those were buttons. I thought they were like stone pressure plates or something. And the first thing that came to my mind was like the fudging, uh, 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 lantern, like how you light up so. Yeah, words. Uh, anyways, we're gonna. Yeah. Now that I know what I'm doing here, I can get through this dungeon pretty fast. I can't. Oh boy, I am stupid. Anyways, get out of my way, get out of my way. We can't kill you yet because we don't have the thing. What? Be careful, lad. The barrel is moving. The barrel is moving. Anyways, we needed to get over here and... Okay, that does that, but now we're at a... Stand still again with the fact of unless the barrel has a different room that we can enter. And yeah, here, hold on, just give me a second. Look at that nice little creature. Get a nice view of the room and stuff. Sorry, it just yeah. Yes. But anyways there sorry about that just need to answer that but yeah I still can't believe I did that <sighs> again like I said it's been forever since I played this game so I guess I have somewhat of a excuse but yeah so far this dungeon has been pretty interesting the whole fact of grabbing onto a mushroom and everything sounds pretty cool Oh, we can just open that? Okay, cool. We got a map. We are good to go. Anyways, now we can uh, grab onto the mushroom again. Fling yourself across a little more. We can now push that out later. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh. Oh. Oops, wrong button, wrong button. What in the world? What we need is now is something to hold down the switch. Really? Then again, I guess I can't be saying that because I obviously am not not meant for this because I was too stupid to realize the thing. But still, stop pointing out the obvious, even though if I didn't use you, for example, uh, once you, oh my god, please stop talking. It was one time. I know it was very, one very stupid time, but it was one time. Okay, I, I see, I see what we need to do here. Um, yeah, yes, yes indeed, I see what we need to do here. Open the chest. Open the chest. I got the small key. We can now progress. I didn't. And we can progress. It is w one thing I've never understood is why Link is not able to swim. But then again, I guess back in the day, uh, well, 
we're talking about older times. I guess people just didn't know how to swim, and the only way a person could swim is by throwing yourself into said lake and then trying not to die well drowning, basically. Anyways, what's up here? Uh, that looks like somewhere... Wait, wasn't I just here? No, I was not, actually. But I don't want to go over there just yet because I want to explore what's over here first. Fling me fully! Oh god, that was a horrible idea. Okay. Yeah. And I let go of the mushroom. Dang it. I'm surprised this game doesn't take off hearts for drowning. Just makes me realize there must be a lot of water in this game. Okay, let's get over here. And yeah. So far, it's a pretty simple first dungeon. Uh, unless you're like me, who couldn't tell what a button looks like, obviously. But then again, I don't. I guess I shouldn't be saying, what do I know about simple? Because at this point, I've already proven that I'm obviously not capable of doing... Capable of understanding how to push a button. Okay, so we're just gonna need to push this guy a little bit out of the way. Go over here, and yeah. I can't believe that I... It's gonna annoy me for the rest of the dungeon, that's for sure. And the fact that it was caught on footage as well is also somewhat embarrassing. Anyways. Oh, not much to talk about. Let's see here. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? I have to work. I know that for sure. Yeah, our uh, place I'm working at. Yeah, they're open on Thanksgiving Day. So, that's fun. I know some other places are as well, but I kind of find it dumb that some places stay open during Thanksgiving. I guess, like, emergency places and everything would technically need to be on standstill for that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of find it somewhat dumb. Especially considering if you're just wanting to hang out with your family for the day and you can't because you've got to go to work or something. Oh. Oh, we're able to lift pots? Okay. I didn't know that our character was strong enough. I know in some games of Zelda, uh, you're not able to lift pots until, uh, until you get, like, the fucking power bangle or something it was called. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, the reason why I'm saying that is because in previous games of... Oh, there's the mini-boss. We don't have... Do we have the certain thing that we need for this? Well, I guess we won't know until we try. But, yeah, anyways, uh... Let's try to boot them. Oh, that's pretty simple. But, yeah, uh, reason why I bring that up is because in the GBA games here, which also includes this one, uh, basically, the first, like, power-up that you get mostly is, like, the power bangle thing, which is... Yeah, which helps you lift, like, pots and everything. But then again, I guess that's going for Link Awakening and the two Oracle seasons, which are pretty good games. But to be honest with you, this was probably the last one they put out on the Advanced game. And I gotta say, this is honestly, if not one of the better games of, well, just being it. Anyways, oh yeah, we can trade off with our sword. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Cool, I can actually have... Cool, I can actually have... No, never mind. Okay, let's see here. And if you let it go enough, it will do that. But yeah, we got the jar. The sucking jar. Man, this game is really sus. 
yo, I'm like saying, I don't know if it's the mindset of lately of what everybody's mindset has been of lately of this year, but yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna lie, these fucking goddamn heart containers are lying everywhere around here. I didn't realize how easy these things would be to collect. But anyways, now that we got the sucking jar, we can now take care of things that we couldn't before. For example, hidden buttons are not going to be everywhere. So now if you see dirt anywhere, oh no, oh no, oh no. Gambling addiction has been required. So basically what these things are, are basically uh, tokens for gambling for later on. What do I mean by that? There are little figurines in this game that will be used to help buy, well, for collector's sake, it's a pretty thing. If you want to 100% the game, you have to get these things. And these little mi mystic green shell things are going to be the thing of life. Yeah, the, see these things, the mystic shells, these are going to be the currency for those things. We're going to need a lot of those, a lot of those lately. A lot of them. A lot of them, indeed. Basically, um, I don't think it's too bad. It's not until you get to the last, like, couple of them where it really gets annoying to guarantee to get the shot, but then it's just a game of Lady Luck at that point. But, yeah. Now that we activated that stone thing, at one point, point we can get another piece of heart, and before we leave this dungeon, we're gonna have five hearts. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. But yeah, all those shells you're seeing right now, we might be getting a lot of those, but there's a reason why they're giving us a lot of those because there are a lot of little trinkets to get. I don't remember exactly how many, but I just do know that it is a lot of them. Anyways, we're gonna just boop that down. Oh, no, we can't do that. Just gonna do that. And now there's a puzzle. I know a puzzle, a puzzle. Now we we are not gonna be able to get over here until we figure out the puzzle. I think I just screwed up the puzzle. Actually, no, I did not screw up the puzzle. I am just dumb. Anyways, we just gotta push this, push that, and what do we get here? Oh, we got the compass. Now, if we hit start, nope, wrong button. No, not you. Please leave me alone. Uh, there is a treasure in this room. There's a treasure back up in the other room, and there's a treasure up there. Man, these maps are so detailed and are so helpful. That is a lie. If you did not know. Okay, what? Okay. Yeah. Five rubies, by the way. Okay, maybe if I just... Okay. What if I... Do that. No? Hmm. How am I gonna do this? How am... Yeah, if that breaks, then... Hmm... No, I drowned from that, and I can't open from the other side, so... Oh my god, Ethan, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to think, Ethan. It's probably some very stupid solution that I'm thinking of right now. Oh. Is there a back feature here? 
Can I just... No? That kills it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we have what it takes to get that yet. Unless there's some very, very simple solution that I'm not looking at. But most likely, that probably is the case here. But anyways, it most likely just contains another, like, one of those shells. Anyways, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go this way. Actually, go this way now. Get rid of his color. Get rid of his light. And we can hit the button here. And what did we get? Yeah, more mercenary shell. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure half these dungeon chests have only, like, actually actually have these like fucking shell things in there. I don't think there's anything useful that we need out of these. That just helps us jump down there. Anything hiding in here? Anything sand relating hiding here? No. But this takes us somewhere else. Later on. I'm gonna loop back around just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Just do this very quickly. I probably am just wasting time here. If I am, I will cut this out of the video just so you guys don't have to suffer through me just wandering around just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Granted, I just left that chest there, so... Yeah, I think I'm just... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just wandering out around for no reason. Oh, but the door is already open, actually. Yeah, there was legitimately no point of that. Okay. Yep. Anyways, the thing that we need to get rid of is this. Do do do. Something will eventually show up. The way. The way to uh, the basement area. Okay. Now get the lily pad here. Now what? Now what? Now we what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? What what we're doing here is we're using this as transportation. Faster, Link! Faster! Roll faster! We need to get going. Okay, not that fast, not that fast. Uh, I want to go over here, I want to go over here. What's over here? There is something over this way. I am going back the other way. I want to see what's... If that's the way how to progress, then I want to see what's over here. I want to see what's over here. There's slugs trying to get onto the machine. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Um, oh, the key. Okay, never mind. Big shot, big shot, big shot, big shot. But yeah. Besides the whole Thanksgiving thing and having to work on it on that day, I, it's not for too long, thankfully. Thankfully, I'm not like working the night shift or anything. Just working five hours in the morning. So yeah. Good thing is I won't have to worry about cooking the meals. I won't have to worry about cooking the Thanksgiving dinner. Are you cooking? cooking the Thanksgiving dinner for your parents? If so, I feel sorry for you. And I think I just screwed up another puzzle. Man, I am so good at this game. Anyways, let's see here. So, Minecraft Ma Vote came through. Uh, that won by a landslide. But honestly, I just don't understand why they don't add all the mobs in that they induce, but okay. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know. I think I'm finally burned out of Minecraft. I, I played a lot back in the day, and even now I did as well, but I just don't have any more desire to play the game unless I play with friends. Which is somewhat sad because of how much joy it brought me. It's somewhat dull now. Guess you play too much of one thing and it eventually loses its, its taste. It's kind of like one of these days when I 
when I'm playing video games, just one of these days, I'm gonna just be playing video games for no reason at all. And all of a sudden, I'm just gonna have no interest at all for wanting to play video games at all. Man, it's gonna happen at some point, probably. But then again, that's only if games ever stop being boring. Talking about boring stuff, uh, let's talk about uh, what's been happening. The reason why I haven't been uh, lately haven't been uploading too many videos is due to the fact of uh, what is it? Ah, uh, yes, college, college exams, uh, final exams, and then prepping for my finals and everything. Yeah, I've been working on working on that, and yeah. A lot to do, especially when you're becoming a programmer. Yeah. Also, is there a path down here? No. No secret path? Okay. Thought that would have been cool, but okay. But, yeah. Yeah, I became a programmer. I'll start starting to become a programmer, and well, I can just tell you it's a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of time spent and waste on coding. A lot of coding. Really hard. But it does make you appreciate uh, these games a little bit more because just seeing this, it's just. God, it's almost a fucking nightmare of seeing what actual coding is and stuff. It's somewhat of a nightmare. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is... Is that, uh, so... I... One for yawn, but, uh, one of my pro exam projects that took me the entire week was that I, that I needed to... Oh, what was it? I needed to make a game of chess. Program an entire game of chess. And all of you see those like little shitty like app games and you don't think like twice about it and you're like, wow, these games are really shitty. It's like saying anybody can make these within hours and it's like, no, no, you cannot. The, I'm like saying the design and everything going into it might be like, could be possibly done an hour or so. In that case, yes, but that doesn't go for the other stuff at all. I don't know, am I going the right way? But yeah, like legitimately, uh, when I say I had to build the thing, all I built was not like the actual interior of the stuff for like the like chess piece or anything. I made the desire and the like little like words where you could tap on them and they could move so basically and theoretically I made a game of chess and if you knew the rules it can play and it can you can play chess on it but the code for the thing ended up being over 2,000 lines yes you heard me right a uh, not finished game yet it was not a finished game yet ended up being 2,000 lines you heard me correct 2,000 lines of code for chess. To some, to some people that may not be too shocking, but to me it really is. And I just hope for the people aren't just saying that because of things, but why am I going, I got the key, where the, f why the fuck am I going back this way? I I have the key. I have the key. I need to go back down here to open the door. I do not know what I am doing. Anyways, grab this. And yeah. So yeah, I got that done. Waiting for that to be great. I don't know how that's going to go about. But yeah. Make sure to keep up with your studies. And don't be like me. Nah, I'm just joking. But anyways, uh, yeah. So college has been keeping me pretty steady. Granted, it is almost over for me for the semester. And I should, yeah, I don't have much. 
yeah, I have like a month off, so I should be, yeah, I'll be going back to posting daily videos again. So once it, uh, once I get out of college fully, I will be going back to posting daily videos. And what I mean by that is I will be posting, uh, I'll be posting the Mario, uh, what was it? Uh, no, 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 not that, but, uh, the, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I will be posting the RPG for Mario and Luigi's Partners in Time. I will be finishing up that series. The plan is to finish up that series. Well, the game, hopefully I can finish up the game before the end of December, at least. Hopefully get that out of the way so that we can start showing other things. I do have a, another project in mind that I've been working on. Uh, but it's been taking me forever since for the gameplay sake and as far as commentary goes it most likely won't be any commentary per se there will be times where I'll butt in to say like to say a couple words or show what's going on and talk about what is going on so you have an understanding it's basically a walkthrough of a certain game that I've enjoyed in the past. But anyways, coming here, we got the big key. We got the master key. Now we can get the fudge out of here. I just wonder where... Oh, wait a minute. Does this take me where I think it takes me? Yes, it does. With that, we got a full heart container. We now have four hearts before taking on a boss. And now we have these doors. I knew that we had something over here, but yeah. So basically what I plan on doing here is uh, the main plan is to finish up Mario and Luigi partners in time. I don't know when I will be finished with uh, the project that I've been working on. Like I said, it's been a very long time doing the project and everything. Very, very long time. And I went to the wrong side. And I gotta go get that chest. God dang it. Quickly going, grabbing the chest. Grabbing the chest. But yeah. I don't want to say anything too yet due to the fact of, like I said, I'm not even done with the gameplay. And the fact that I wanted to do, uh, I'm not doing 100% of the game, but I wanted to do all this side, all the side quests, and this game is pretty infinite for its side quests. And when I mean infinite, it's infinitely known for if you do one thing wrong, you can miss out on some serious side quests and would have to start the game to start again to do everything. But yeah, basically, I did a full playthrough of the for I I got through the full game first but then there were a couple of cutscenes that I needed to assure that I was able to capture right because I didn't capture them right the first time and I just felt like not wanting to do this unfinished so yeah so I eventually said fuck it I'm gonna do all the side quests and I wanted to see what this game had to offer for me Again, I'm not going to spoil what it is just yet because, like I said, it'll be quite some time before it actually comes out because it is nowhere near finished yet. And, yeah. Also, by the way, our first boss is a big slime. So something that we were able to kill in two turns is now a big threat because we are small. Ouch. 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 I got hurt. Ouchie mama. I got hurt quickly do that. Ow, he hurt me again. I got hurt. I am hurt. I am hurt. I am so hurt. Is there a heart in here? Yes, I am back to full hearts. I was going to see if there was like a hero mode for this, but there isn't. So, unless you beat the game then maybe there is a hero mode. Which kind of sucks. <coughs> oh, sorry for the coughing. Make sure to stay hydrate, hydrated, kids. I really need water after this. Oh my. Wow, this guy is not letting me get anything in. We 
are good. We are good. We are good. We are good. We are good. This is like the first boss. We will be fine. And is it the end of him? It is. It is the end of him. That boss was so hard. I guess we don't get a heart container. Huh. Okay, I guess that actually balances out pretty hard because I was about to say, if we get a heart container from here, that would have been pretty stupid OP, so no heart container. Oh, never fucking mind. Never mind, we do get a heart container. We have five hearts before leaving the first dungeon. And that is the dungeon done and set. We are gonna talk to the elder quickly, and I think that's where I'm gonna end the. Probably not the first episode here. This is probably gonna be cut into a couple of episodes. When I mean couple, I started this at maybe around. Fucking maybe. I think. Yeah, I started this around 8 30, and it's almost 10, so that's about. 30 minutes per episode, so two. So three episodes so yeah this is gonna be like into the three episodes for the first recording and yeah anyways he tells you about the whole tragedy of the element thing and a certain person leave through this door it'll take you to the forest quickly great elder we're in your death we'll basically what he said was we need a fucking hurry, some bad shit's happening, and by the time we leave the Minish Woods here, it is gonna be no okie dokie from here. And from there, we are gonna grab one more thing here. An adventure, you know what back to do? All of the debris here, I can might come in handy. The bomb bag. For the love of God, do not skip over this. Do not go to the log yet. You need to enter this house first. I should have said that earlier, but yes. This is where you get the bomb bag. I now will. I'm gonna grow big. And now we will end the episode here. Uh, well, the... Not the episode per se. Well, the episode as well. But for me, it is also the end of my recording session here. I've been recording for an hour or so. And my voice is pretty damn parched. And then also... Actually, this might be only two episodes. It depends on how long it took me while I was running around for that stupid button. But anyways, as you can see here, we have five containers. Not five containers, but we have... Well, yeah, we have five heart containers on our side already. We have five hearts. We have 50 shell things that we'll need later. And we already have one of the four elements. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And have a happy Thanksgiving. See you all next time.